Hi there, it's Megan here again. Today we're going to teach you the basics of targeting DFP line items in this Learn to Monetize More video tutorial. If you have been with us for our previous DFP videos, you already know some of the basic functions, such as creating orders and ad units for existing campaigns. But the fun doesn't end there. You can also create line items. By creating a line item, you instruct a DFP to serve ads at the ad slot or ad inventory level. The order pertains to the specific advertiser, while a line item targets the particular ad slots the advertiser has specified. Are you excited to figure this out? Allow us to teach you. Let's begin. Line items are the means through which we control how and where ads show within our inventory. Line items fall under orders in the DFP hierarchy. For each advertiser or ad network, we create an order. The line items under an order are a specific set of instructions on how ads should serve. The most basic of line items will target specific ad units only. However, DFP allows for much more complex targeting dependent on a variety of other factors, including geography, age, operating systems, devices, and more. That said, DFP affords us the flexibility to target our line items in countless ways. Our first step is to log into DFP, where we'll immediately navigate to our Delivery tab. We are now presented with navigation options on the left-hand side, where we want to find and click on Line Items. We're going to work with some existing line items we've already created. Let's click a line item we want to focus on and make sure we're on the Settings tab. Now let's make our way down to the Add Targeting section at the bottom of the page. The first thing we see is the inventory that we've chosen to target. When targeting inventory, we should specify ad units and placements we'd like to target. If we choose to target all our inventory, we call this Run of Network. If we don't specify inventory to target, our default choice is Run of Network. Run of Network line items are especially useful for house ads and ad exchange dynamic allocation line items. However, we recommend targeting specific ad units even if it's all of them. Once we've chosen the inventory to target, DFP then presents a number of other options to choose from. Key values, geography, devices, and connection. Key values are values the publisher define based on data you collect through your site. For example, a key value can be an age group or other demographic group you define. Key values merit their own conversation, and we'll discuss them in a later video. The other criteria are more straightforward. Geography can cover a varied range of defined geographical regions, including countries, U.S. metro areas, U.K. TV regions, cities, U.S. zip codes, Canadian postal codes, and other options. Under Devices, we have a variety of targeting options. Within this category, we can choose amongst a number of specs, but one of the most useful is Device Category. This allows us to choose by desktop, feature phone, smartphone, and tablet. In addition, we can choose by browser, browser language, manufacturer, device, and operating system. Once we've selected all our targeting values, we simply click Save. That sums things up on our lesson of line items for today. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time!